We picked up two tenths of an inch of rain at the airport today. We will have a few more spotty showers for some, but the rain chance is gradually decreasing this evening. A little bit of good news. Notice that a lot of southern and eastern North Dakota drought free and only abnormally dry for northern North Dakota. That is good news because things are going to get a little bit drier as we go throughout the next week or so. But still, moderate drought conditions can be observed from eastern Montana into southwestern North Dakota. So for the time being, we are fine, but if the little dry trend continues for the long term, that's where we'll have to worry about a few things. But for now, looking cloudy, but fine and okay at Lake Metagoshi, 49 degrees for you and the Magic City where the wind is out of the northwest at 10, well, rather 7 under a cloudy sky. Still a few 50s being reported from Mohal on westward through Bobell, Stanley and partial, but our temperatures will gradually fall after the sun sets and could be a little bit on the chillier side for tonight. Thankfully, our wind is light for now out of the northwest at seven miles per hour. Expect a light wind for tomorrow, but Saturday is going to be a completely different story. Looking at radar for the lower 48 states, we've got some severe weather in portions of Colorado and into Kansas. Severe thunderstorms across Mississippi, but the brunt of the severe weather, Florida and Georgia. Once again, tornado warnings in effect off the east coast of Florida. Also a tornado warning and some severe thunderstorms storm warnings for portions of Georgia along a squall line. So that's where their severe weather threat is going to be for today. But at home, we've also had some thunderstorms mainly across south central and southeastern North Dakota. You saw earlier that inch and a quarter of rain in Napoleon, and we've had reports of even some small size hail covering the ground west of Wishek this afternoon. But thankfully, no severe weather, but the thunderstorms are first, even the rain are first for some across the south central region. But here at home, as I mentioned, going to keep the chance of a few spotty showers in the forecast for the evening. Um, nothing heavy to be expected, but that just means the clouds are likely going Going to be sticking around as well. So once the showers exit the region for on um, this evening overnight, there will be the potential for maybe a couple of isolated showers um, only at 10%, which means that majority of the region is going to remain dry but chilly. Some of us falling down to near or slightly below freezing, but still expecting mostly 30s for tomorrow. Dry for your Friday afternoon, maybe a couple of showers possible um, near the Turtle Mountains for tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. But that's about it. Elsewhere, expecting dry conditions. Remember, lighter wind for tomorrow, Saturday. We are going to have that potential for 45 mile per hour wind gusts before the wind settles down again on your Sunday. A couple of more cooler days expected, but we start to get more um, spring light weather for Tuesday, especially Wednesday and Thursday of next week, where it looks like the 70s could be sticking around for a few days. I like to hear that. Thank you so much, Henry.